Welcome to American Times instructions on replacing a mechanical movement with the AllSync Plus kit. The replacement kit comes with the parts shown here. Here are the tools you'll need for this installation. In our example, the old dust cover's already been removed. Place your clock face down on a soft surface like a pillow or a cushion. Take the back plate out of the bezel by removing the spring clips. Pop out each side of the clip and push near the center to remove it. Note that your clock's original movement may look slightly different from our example, and that's okay. Lift up the clock by the motor and remove the bezel and crystal to set those off to the side. To remove the clock hands, turn the clock over and use a 5/32nd inch nut driver to remove the sweep hand. Be sure to hold the hand so it doesn't turn. The sweep hand is threaded on, so rotate it counterclockwise like this to remove it. Next, remove the mitted hand with a quarter inch nut driver. You can simply lift off the minute hand. Use your fingers to remove the friction plate and gently pull off the hour hand. We'll remove the old movement by using a number two Phillips screwdriver. Remove the screws on each corner of the movement. The movement is now separated from the back plate. Take the new movement from the AllSync Kit 01. Put the rubber washer on the pin. Make sure you have the nut nearby and ready. Turn over the plate and put the movement on the plate with the buttons of the movement toward 12 o'clock. Turn the plate face up and screw the center mounting nut on the pin. Be sure not to cross thread it. Use a half inch nut driver to tighten the nut down. Don't over tighten or you could damage the movement. Next, apply the hands placing the hour hand on first. In the all sync kit, the hands are all press-on hands. Push down on the hour hand using a quarter inch nut driver. Align the hand to 12 o'clock as best you can. Repeat the same steps with the remaining two hands. Check to make sure the hands are evenly spaced and not touching each other. If they aren't, slightly bend the hands, but you shouldn't need much adjustment. You can look down the edge of the clock to check. Each of the three hands should point toward 12 o'clock. Put the face plate down on the cushion. Take the multicolored cable and plug it into the movement. The green and yellow wires should be up. Select the male end of the Molex plug and insert it into the base of the dust cover. Now take the dust cover with the circuit board in it Place the ground wire inside the dust cover and use one of the screws provided in the all sync kit to attach it. Thread a star washer and nut onto the screw and tighten it down. Plug the multicolored cable into the circuit board. Keep the yellow and green cables toward you. The all sync movement arrives with the standard 120 volt power or run and 120 volt core or correction. Here you'll see the default pin placement for run and correction. The jumpers can be repositioned for 120 volt run and 24 volt correction. Like this. Or they can be repositioned for 24 volt run and 24 volt correction. If needed, adjust the run and correction.
Remove the gear locking pin from the movement. Next, connect the ground wire to the mounting point and screw it down. Tuck in the wires and place the dust cover down. On the same two holes that the original dust cover was mounted to, take two screws from the movement and start them both in the holes. Then tighten them down. Move the back plate out of the way and place the bezel and crystal back on your cushion. You may want to clean the bezel and crystal before reassembling. Center the back plate, but don't worry about getting it perfect. The crystal will drop into the four tabs that are on the outside of the back plate and center it for you. Here are the four tabs. Now you can put the spring clips back in. It's easiest to put the opposite facing clips in first. See here how the clips are self-centering? Insert the last of the clips. And that's it. You've completed the assembly of your Latham style clock all sync conversion. For more do-it-yourself videos, visit American-Time.com.